Life is a miracle, and each new day offers us ample opportunity to make it bigger and better. And yet, while some take it up, a lot more just let it pass by. In the midst of nowhere, in the corner of a very small tribal town, a miracle takes place every day in the lives of some very special children. Each new day is full of opportunities, challenges, daily struggles, and yet there is reason to hope, to smile, and to pray. The Gulmaha School for the Visually Impaired and Intellectually Disabled is a home away from home for more than 50 tribal children, most of whom come from economically weak backgrounds where families can barely make ends meet. These children are a bundle of joy, of innocence and purity, taking one day at a time. Founded by Pramila Thai, out of a deep desire to bring in some hope for the tribal children, this school has had humble and challenging beginnings. Orthodox and superstitious parents, coupled with severe poverty, were the biggest hindrance to getting it started. Having accepted the condition of their children as a curse of the gods, the idea of a special school was not just weird, but unacceptable. But little did Pramila Thai know, but what began with so much resistance would someday evolve into a holistic movement to touch and change lives. Situated in a small tribal town of Jauha in the Tane district of Maharashtra, India, the school now houses 30 intellectually disabled and 25 visually impaired children. The staff of seven special educators and five support personnel form a team that has dedicated their lives to keeping this miracle alive. They all reside in the school premises itself to tend a round-the-clock care for the children. Despite the initial challenges, the school is now recognised for its life-changing efforts and personalised care. Oh, very good. In a country where survival of the differently abled is a major challenge, the Gulmoho School stands out as a courageous effort. Children from the age of 4 to 14 are part of this amazing family. Once out of the classroom, the children are encouraged to mingle with and help each other, inculcating values of sharing and caring. The teachers are a mix of professionals, some of whom themselves have special needs and thereby can relate to the challenges of the children. The children, on the other hand, draw inspiration from their presence. The children are encouraged to be part of all activities that happen in the premises, do most of their daily chores themselves, and also lend a helping hand, thereby equipping them with life skills. 
The institution now stands apart in the entire district of Tane, Maharashtra, as only the second special school in the tribal belt. Despite all these inspiring facts, there's another side to the story. The school is housed in an old, dilapidated structure, has limited classrooms with inadequate space to create the right ambience, which is a prime need for these special children. Two toilets for nearly 60 people and limited washing space has added immense strain on the infrastructure, so much that the classrooms now double up as the dining halls during the day and bedrooms at night. Space, basic facilities, play area and standard hygiene are major challenges that need to be tackled with immediate urgency to keep this miracle alive. Despite being only the second school in the tribal belt of a district that has a 10 million population, all efforts to gain government aid have failed to yield results. The only ray of hope has been the generous support of well-wishers and donors. But for how long will this suffice is the real question at hand. A chance meeting introduced Pramila Tai, the founder of the Gulmahal School, to Seva UK, a charitable organisation in the UK that works primarily in Africa and India and helps rehabilitate people that have been hit by natural calamities and humanitarian tragedies. They work to build schools, healthcare facilities and lend a helping hand to propagate education. Touched by the plight of the children and inspired by this journey, Saver UK decided to step in to make a difference. And then began the journey of keeping this miracle alive and to seek miracle workers, the kind like you and me, who could step in and make this happen. A humongous effort has finally opened doors to usher in a new era for the school. Today the new residential school foundation has been laid. Work has begun on a plan that is modern, equipped with green technology, will boast of international standards and set an example for special schools to come. But this is just the beginning, and if these children are to get a real shot at life, then many more will have to join hands to make this happen. Your contributions can help realise a dream that will impact a generation, help them be free and self-reliant, offer them a space to flourish and blossom and create a chain reaction that will transform lives. looks bright, but the present remains. And you and me are the miracle workers who can restore the smiles of these children and give them a life that we can all be proud of. You may now decide to step in or step out, but remember, Life is a miracle and each day will offer you ample opportunity to make it bigger and better. And yet, while some will take it up, a lot more will just let it pass by. What will you do today? 
You can now pledge your support to Save a UK by making their vision your vision.